OK, let's try and solve this numerically using Excel. So here's our blank spreadsheet. Let's put down delta T. Uh, let's pick, I don't know, I guess a five seconds to begin with. And let's pick a, a probability of decay. So P, and let's say it's pretty low, so it's 0.01 per second. So that gives us an estimate, which is 1 over this probability of the time, which is about 100 seconds for most things to go away. OK, now we'll need a, a chart of plot. <laughs> now we'll need a column with all the times and with the number of particles that are going to decay and the decay rate. And let's start at time 0. You can start whenever you like. Now the time at the next time step here is going to be the starting time plus delta t. So this equals time above plus delta t. And we have to put dollars in front of the b and the 1. So it always points to the cell even as we drag it all down. Okay. And now we can drag it all down. seconds that should be enough to me expecting things to happen on about a hundred second time scale now what's the number of particles let's start with a one no hundred thousand particles now what's the decay rate well, we worked that out in the last video the decay rate is going to be equal to the number of particles times the probability of each one decaying and we'll need dollars in front of that again times the time step also need dollars in front of it. So it's just the number of particles there are available to decay times the probability that each one decays times the time step. This probability is per unit time. Okay, so now let's... What's the number of particles going to be after one time step? Well, that's going to be equal to the number before the time step minus the decay rate. What's the decay rate? It's going to be the same equation as before. And so all we need to do is drag this all the way down. And we should have our answer. Let's try plotting it. So we can take these two columns, select them all. We'll insert, recommend a chart. That looks pretty good. And there we have it. The number of atoms left, and it's behaving pretty much as we thought in our previous graphic analysis. We estimated about 100 seconds for most to go away, and that's about right. Uh, but the rate of decay decreases, and it sort of flattens out towards zero. It looks much like an exponential curve, curiously enough. So that all seems to make sense.